sorry about the sugar. I've only one pair of hands. Oh, it's no great loss. Uh, I've got uh, plenty of cargo here to make a profit on my trip. Will you stay here long? For a few weeks, yes. Then back to Barbados, to the tedium of domesticity. Don't settle for tedium. Sail for Nassau. Live life as you see fit. <laughs> Haven't I heard that Nassau is crawling with pirates? Seems a very tawdry place. Not tawdry, liberated. Oh, God. That would be an adventure. But no. No, I'm a husband and a father. I have responsibilities. Life can't be all pleasure and distraction, Duncan. Hey, our bonnet. The name's Edward, in truth. Duncan's only a handle. Ah. Secret name for your secret meeting with the governor. The governor, right. I think I've kept him waiting long enough. Buenos dias. Mr. Duncan Walpole of England to see the governor. I believe he is expecting me. Si, sí, señor Walpole. Entre, por favor. ¿Ese es el hombre? El... ¿Cómo lo llamabas? ¿Asesino? Sí, Duncan Walpole. Debería haber llegado hace muchos días. No me gusta que los extranjeros se paseen por nuestra ciudad. No me fío de ellos. Cállate. El gobernador tiene invitado. Todos, franceses e ingleses. Parece un hombre rudo. Y le suponía un aspecto más... respetable. Lleva... Sé indulgente con él. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Would I be correct in thinking you are done? I am indeed. I thought as much. Woods Rogers. A pleasure. The same. I must say, my wife has a terrible eye for description. I'm sorry. My wife. You met her some years ago at the Percy's Masquerade Ball. Ah. Quite. She called you devilishly handsome obviously a lie to stoke my jealousy <laughs> <laughs> julianne our guest of honor has arrived mr duncan walpole ah. <laughs> julianne ducas <laughs> i hope your conversion to our order is an honest one i have no love for assassins but even less for liars i have not come to disappoint <laughs> Up for a bit of sport, Duncan? The old man isn't ready just yet. You've got my two best pairs of matched pistols, Duncan. So handle them with care. If I had eight, I'd treat each as my own son. Pull off a few shots if you like. Get a feel for it. <laughs> I once fought beside a man who carried nine on his battle, but hindered his ability to swim, sadly. <laughs> Quite. A little kick, yes? I long for a game where one firearm carries four bullets, and the opposite. I have a friend in England you may like to meet, Julianne. James Puckle is working on something extraordinary. Magnifique. All right. Here's a simple challenge. Try to strike every target before this hourglass empties. Remember, every target within the allotted time. Duncan, where are your wrist blades? I've never seen an assassin so ill-equipped. Ah, damaged sadly beyond all repair. Uh -huh. Have your choice. Where did you find all these? <laughs> I did not find them. I took them. These are souvenirs. Is the custom, eh? Custom, aye. 
Duncan, will you indulge us with a demonstration of your techniques? Well, I... Uh... We must. We put together a training course in anticipation of your arrival. It would be a shame to leave here without seeing you in action. Yes, of course. Well, I mean, if there is time, I would gladly... Show you what I know. Here. You see? Situations well suited to your skills. Have a go! A blade in a crowd is always the simplest. Nothing grandiose. Just quick and clean. Show us another technique. Quite ingenious to use bales of hay for cover, don't you think? the spirit secrecy the advantage of surprise cannot be overstated isn't that so especially around a blind corner god blind me that's a clever trick your aerial kills have a poetic beauty despite their conspicuous quality would you show us Magnifique. Is it also possible to deliver a killing blow at high speed? Mon Dieu, such a powerful strike! Fascinating! The assassins have trained you well, Duncan. You chose a perfect time to leave them behind. At great risk, I imagine. Betraying the assassins is never good for one's health. Well, neither is drinking liquor, but I am drawn to its dangers all the same. And what is your business here, sir? Are you an associate of the governor's, or a pending acquaintance like myself? Guns, blades, cannons, grenados. <laughs> Anything that may kill a man, I am happy to provide. A smuggler of sorts. And how is your wife these days, Captain Rogers? Is she, uh, here? In Havana? I trust she's well, but I wouldn't know. I've been in Madagascar some 14 months hunting pirates. It took some work to dislodge the criminals there, but we managed it. In future, I hope to use these same tactics throughout the West Indies. And how did you deal with that kind? Very simply. Most pirates are as ignorant as apes. I merely offered them a choice, take a pardon and return to England, penniless, but free men, or be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. I imagine Nassau would be your next target. Very astute, Duncan, indeed. Best of luck with that. Grandmaster Torres! Mr. Duncan Walpole has arrived. See. Si. You were expected one week ago. Apologies, Governor. My ship was set upon by pirates. We were scuttled. I arrived only yesterday. Unfortunate. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the items you promised me? Uh, yes, sir. I was. Assassins have more resources than I had imagined, but not nearly enough to deter us. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss.